Okay, this how-to video is going to show you how to use the panelization command inside of the Cadence PCB tools. So I've got a board that's been completed. Um, you can see my design here. I've got things like my NC route path um, to show the routing information. I've got some uh, breakout tab information. And my board's ready to go for panelization. So um, what we'll do is we'll go to the export and fab panelization tool. Now, um, this is quite a key part, really. Um, what this is saying is basically the current database is linked to a schematic. So this has obviously got a, a design sync or a netlist that's been imported into this design. Um, and what we're saying here is that the panels must be created from a database without any logic. So um, you need to kind of just make sure that you start a blank board that hasn't got a, a netlist imported or a design synced. Um, and then you can then use this uh, the panelization tool. It uses module files, so it will create modules for you automatically, uh, the place replicate command um, and then you can place instances of those in the panel uh, to make the panel that you want. It will make panels of uh, family panels if you like so you can have different board databases inside there and I'll show you an example of that a little bit later on and uh, the key part really is just making sure obviously the stack up matches so the cross section number of layers etc must match and only in quantity not specifically in name. So I click OK to that and we'll go and open a board so I've actually got a panel start board here it's a blank panel this is a mechanical symbol it's effectively got you know some tooling corners some fiducial markers um, the rails are set up I've got some copper areas some keep out areas etc and the dimensions this is actually available in the case installation folder and I'll show you an example of that in a minute so what we'll do here is we'll go to export and fab panelization tool uh, and this brings up the panelization command uh, what I would recommend here is clicking on the help button there's a really useful PDF that will kind of go through lots and lots of different examples, what you need to do, what the different steps are. This is that directory where all the examples are. So um, you can actually go to your installation folder, share PCB toolbox, getting started, panelization. There's that basic mechanical symbol that I'm using as a start panel, and then there's some different project designs as well. Right, so what we'll do is we'll browse for our first design. We'll go to the setup tab and we'll just browse for the first design that we want. So I'm going to pick uh, project one, an amplifier. That's the board panel that I want. You can choose whether this is effectively the layers that it includes, either all of the layers, just the artwork base layers, or custom a choice. So if I unselect this, you can do a custom and just pick the specific layers that you want um, to be used for the panelization. Some people might just want to restrict it to say the design outline and the NC route path. Um, I'll just do an artwork based option here. Reference designators I'm going to come back to. Um, and you can do things like exclude the routing, uh, load the artwork and clear the nets. So you've got different design processing options here. Um, clear the nets would just get rid of all the net names, for example. So I've got my, my, my basic amplifier. What I'm going to do here is just synchronize the layers so that the layer match uh, effectively in my panel and my board design will work together. Okay. I'll then click on create modules and this will then go to that board file and make a module for me or a place replicate module. Once that's ready, I can then click on place and effectively I then get this array option. So I can place my board, my amplifier. This is the extent side. I can rotate it. I can mirror it if I want to. I can place a single instance or the instance array and the instance array would show me all of the panels that I've got. So currently I've got a one by one. Um, let's just adjust the board outline so I can actually see the actual board profile that I've got and set some columns. So let's go two columns and four rows. And if we do uh, one, two, nine in the X, and then we'll do 100 in the Y. That gives me an array that's going to fit my panel perfectly. I'm quite happy with that. So we'll then effectively say, let's do X is uh, 42 and 18. That gives me my, my panel array effectively. So I can click OK to that and we'll zoom in and have a look at this. So what you'll notice here, let's just uh, look at the, the reference designator, for example. I've got different panel numbers. So effectively, this is panel one. So you can see, or oh, panel four, sorry, panel seven. Let's just turn the colors off. So if we go to the colors and then go to all off and components, we'll turn on the um, assembly top, not the silk screen top. So you'll see effectively there, let's just turn on uh, maybe the design outlines. All my different uh, reference designators are represented. So for each in panel instance, I've got a, a P number. So P for the panel number and then an underscore and then the actual component that's called. 
and that's the same for all the different components. Now we do still store the um, the actual real reference designators. They're under the um, the geometry tab, and there is a layer here called let's just turn my panel details layer. Panel reference top and bottom. So if I turn those off and go to the components, we'll turn that one off. You can see there's the 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 native reference designators for each part. But it can be useful if you wanted to export this information in an artwork. But let's just turn all our layers back on. Click OK. So there's my my panel information. I've got my boards, my cutouts, everything that I need for my panel itself. So I could then effectively just go and create the artworks, do the IPC data, do the pick and place data, whatever I need directly from this board file. Let's just do a reopen. What I'm going to do now is I'll just do more of a family panel option. So if again, if we go to export and fab panelization tool, we go to the setup button. So this is my first design amplifier. I'm then just going to do a right mouse button, add row, and I can add as many rows as I like. And let's just pick project two and a sensor. So I've now effectively got two designs as part of this option here. Um, we're going to do artwork based. I've got the six options here to, to look at the different layers so let's just synchronize this once I've got those I can then go to the create modules again and I will get the modules for effectively the sensor board and for the amplifier board I'm then ready to place so I'm going to start off with a place so we'll start off with the, the we'll do a, uh, a two by let's do a two by two uh, maybe make this one 50 by 300 let's make it a little bit closer okay so I'm going to place the my amplifier boards in there I'm then going to change this to my sensor boards let's maybe do a, a 6 by 6 50 And you can adjust the values to suit to get the, the balls that you want. And the array that you want, you would then effectively then go and place those down. And that gives you the, the options that you want. Now what I haven't shown you here is that um, this is a kind of a, so let me just save this panel away. Let's just save this as. So I've done my panel drawing, everything's happy, I'm good to go. Um, and then uh, maybe I'll make a change to the board design. So let's just go and open. what we'll do is we'll simulate a change here. So if I go to where my designs are, let's just rename that one as a different board name. And we'll rename this as amplifier. And then we'll just go and open that board. So you can see I've got some tracking changes in this. So let's just simulate a change. Let's just look to Constraint Manager. And then if we just write Save. So I've now updated this board file. The timestamp of this board file is now different. So if I go back to my panel, and if I click on Export and Fab Panelization Tool, you'll see straight away the database has been modified in the meantime, so I can check this. Click OK. So if I look at the setup, um, there's an option here to Look at the status. This is the the last import times, and this is the actual the, the date of the and timestamp of the actual board files themselves. So I could then do an update panel, and that would then update the panels, create the module, and do everything for me. So all the tracking changes have been brought in into my panelization. So um, you can actually keep live your data live together, um, which is really useful when you're designing panel drawings.